Welcome to the CE Pro Podcast. I'm Executive Editor Arlen Schweiger. It's safe to say that wireless AV solutions have improved dramatically over the last decade, and a big driver of this is the Wireless Speaker and Audio Association, whose members have rolled out compatible products that make wireless home theater truly attractive for integrators and their customers. This week, we chat with WISA President Tony Ostrom about the latest solutions and what's next for wireless. Tony Ostrom, president of the WISA Association. Thanks for joining me today. Absolutely. Thank you. So, Tony, let's just start off, you know, for those uh, out there who aren't familiar with the association, what can you tell us about uh, what the WISA Association is? Well, WISA, first of all, stands for Wireless Speaker and Audio. Uh, And we are an association of almost 80 brands now uh, that are working together to establish uh, an interoperable solution for wireless home cinema. Uh, it's up to eight channels, uh, very low latency, highly synchronized, um, high definition audio. And uh, we are standardizing that through all of our memberships so that all the components will work flawlessly together, uh, much like you have with other wireless uh, standards. All right, and so can you tell us a little bit about um, some of the brands that you're working with now? And I understand mm-hmm. also that there are some several new brands that have recently joined? Yeah, uh, some, some of the more well-known brands right now would be um, LG, uh, Klipsch, Xbox, Bang & Olufsen, uh, Harman, uh, you know, and, and we, uh, we, like I say, we're right now we're, we're close to about 80 brands in membership. Um, and uh, we, we're still seeing a lot of growth actually. Uh, the last 11 to 12 months, uh, we've seen about a 40% growth in companies and about a 25% growth in brands. You know, some some companies have multiple brands and that kind of teeter totters back and forth, but significant growth still. Um, some of the most recent uh, brands that have joined our fold would be um, Rich Sound, uh, uh, Vaden, um, Alpine Alps, and most recently Kef. And so what we're also seeing now a lot more brands that are joining um, with the plans to develop products. Whereas early on, I think a lot of people were joining and kind of testing the waters and learning about the technology. And it's, it's established to the point now where we're, we're seeing a lot of people join certified products and launch products in a pretty tight time frame, which is pretty exciting for us. Sure. How long has the association been around overall? And, and you know, for some of those brands that have been there for a while, you know, what have they enjoyed as some of the benefits to being a member of WISA? Yeah, so the, the association actually was was founded and started um, by a handful of brands, gosh, probably eight to 10 years ago. Um, I've been here about four. Uh, and during that first kind of phase, I think there was a lot of due diligence, you know, a lot of testing, a lot of validation. Uh, and a couple of guys, you know, bravely jumped on early. Um, that would include Axum, um, uh, Klipsch, Bang & Olufsen. Um, all the immaculate sound stuff from B and O uh, is, is Weiss and, and Weiss is certified some great products. Um, but I think now what you're seeing and what we've started to shift more away from what we sh- we shifted from um, kind of working with brands to to validate the tech um, through a phase of kind of adoption and launching. And now as a as a organization and 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 Weiss specifically and all of our members we're really kind of focused on the category and building the category out. So now there's there's kind of critical mass of of transmitters and things that, that speak wise on the front end uh, with with you know listeners speakers if you will um, and and now we can we can leverage all that and go out into retail and into the consumer space and say this is now a category there are a lot of options it's very simple and we can tell the whole story and I think that whole you know kind of time frame through all those phases has allowed all of those brands to feel really good about that process because it's been working so long now uh, really well for a lot of the early adopters that you know, now we feel very comfortable you know, with, with a lot of expansion. So in terms of the technologies, it's meant to be basically brand agnostic where they're able to develop and work with your platform. And is it, is it mainly um, surround sound systems or are we talking, do there, are there some you know, just traditional two channel stereo yeah. that you, you would like to do as well? Absolutely, it's, it's very agnostic. It's, uh, it's, it's up to eight channels. Um, of wireless audio, 5.2 milliseconds of latency, one microsecond of, of synchronization. So, you know, well within any standard anybody would, would desire, 2496. Um, and that's with all channels driven or one channel driven. 
So you want a wireless subwoofer that, you know, uh, seamlessly works with a wired system, we can do that. If you want just a stereo pair, that's great. And we see a lot of, you know, even B&O and a lot of the European brands doing a lot of 2.0 or 2.1 solutions. Um, but you can go all the way up to a 7.1, 5.1.2, whatever, and it's all agnostic. So that transmitter, the module in that transmitter will work for any of those scenarios. And that speaker can work as a standalone. It can work as the right front. It can be readdressed as a left rear or height. Um, that's part of uh, the interoperability standardization is that it has those kind of capabilities through a very simple user interface, be it on screen like LG has done or through a mobile app uh, like someone like Axum has done. And, and it, it's, it's all designed to work seamlessly together no matter what that user wants and no matter what products they have, as long as they are WISE certified. All right, and in terms of some of those, uh, some of the new brands that have been joining, what are some of the products that they're bring, being um, bringing to the table in, in uh, for WISA? Yeah, so there've been some pretty cool new uh, new announcements recently. Um, right now, actually, we're working on certifying some pretty cool new speaker solutions that you'll see announcements for in the next few months. Um, but from from both some stalwart speaker brands and some new guys. Um, but uh, the, the, the Weiser Ready 4K projector from LG, the Cinebeam, uh, was the first to, to be certified Weiser Ready. Um, the, the Legend 5 uh, System Audio Silverback speakers just won uh, an EISA award for best powered speaker. That was cool. Those, those launched probably you know, a, a few months back, but um, are starting to get some really good um, acknowledgement. Uh, a Skyworth uh, speaker, uh, I'm sorry, uh, the Weiser member. Um, launched uh, the Mets uh, sculpture um, TV and speakers recently. Uh, a big announcement. It, it was it was a just amazing looking product, um, and probably one of the most significant things uh, that's that's being uh, finalized right now. Will probably hit the market next month. Uh, is a product called SoundSend, and that's actually something that we're branding. Um, and and the, the the process there was, you know, a lot of speaker brands now looking for ways to connect their speakers to sources. And obviously with the proliferation of the TV kind of being that, you know, window into the home for so much content now, being able to attach easily to smart TVs and then broadcast that audio to all these licensed certified speakers coming out is really kind of the catalyst for explosion for our category. And the SoundSend is a product, small product um, that connects via HDMI, uh, ARC or eARC, uh, decodes all the way up to Atmos, and transmits uh, up to eight channels to any WISE certified speaker. So you will, and has a, a backup of optical uh, to kind of, you know, uh, uh, make it work with a lot of things that maybe, you know, predate some of those other connections. But um, it, it, will, it will basically open up the category to hundreds of millions of installed smart TVs, as well as all the smart TVs, uh, 125, 130 million to be sold this year that can easily with, an HDMI connection and plug it into the wall. And now it finds all your WISE speakers and creates a home cinema with literally, you know, next to no work from the user, except for plugging the speakers in. Wow, that's a pretty, pretty incredible to hear and pretty exciting news for home theater fans. Uh, you know, go, kind of jumping on that, um, you know, the, I know this, the setup process is really, really simple, uh, but it, can you just give us an idea then in terms of how a typical uh, system topology works then with using the WISA product? Absolutely. Uh, so the, the consumer, uh, the enthusiast uh, would, you know, select the speakers that they want. And as long as they're WISA certified, you literally plug them into the walls, you know, where they go. Um, so no speaker wire runs, um, just an outlet, uh, which, you know, obviously promotes a lot of, you know, uh, unique power for that speaker, unique tuning for that speaker, a lot of, a lot of benefits to powering each speaker uh, uniquely, but plug the speakers into the wall in their location, uh, turn them on, um, they, they will be discoverable and the sound send, you would plug it into the uh, HDMI output of the TV with ARC, I plug it into the wall and it will automatically go into search mode, find all those speakers. Um, speakers can be pre-assigned to a spot by the manufacturer and if they are, then the sound send will say, okay, I found my left, I found my right, I found my center, I found my sub, whatever, um, and you're ready to go. And a small LED on the front indicates that it's ready. Um, there's a button on the front if you wanna reset it, and then there's a mobile app that you can go in and 
you can do uh, you can you can specifically tune a sweet spot with something called MyZone. Uh, you can tune the system independently. You can you know there are global EQs. There are all those things. A lot of the AVR inspired kind of tuning, um, but the initial setup is incredibly simple, uh, and that's really the idea. Is you know we want it to be as simple or uh, you know more so than you know a common system like a soundbar. Uh, but obviously the performance being separate spaced and spreading everything out uh, from a from a wall of sound and a room of sound perspective is significant and much more cinema like right absolutely and actually i can you know just sort of um disclose that you know recently uh, i tested an on enc enclave uh audio system uh, mm -hmm. i believe it was this the cinehome um and yeah it was very simple to put together um you know you're not dealing with the transmitter receiver units you have that one hub and, and then basically plugging in the five speakers plus a subwoofer and it really took not much time at all, you know, right. and it was a definite bump up um, for basically just, I was using my TV audio and it wasn't, you know, it wasn't very good. So the well, jump from there to 5.1 was, uh, it, yeah, it was fantastic. Enclave has done a phenomenal job. Um, they, they came out with a product called Cinehome. Um, the the out-of-box experience was super simple. The setup was great. It was all in one. So the transmitter and all the 5.1 was there. They have uh, more recently uh, kind of doubled down and expanded their, their, their assortment to the Cinehome 2 and then a larger product called the Cinehome Pro, which is THX certified. Um, and it's still, that one is, I think, just above $1,000 in retail. And the Cinehome uh, 2, I think, is kind of right at 1000 or a little less. Um, but phenomenal products. The out-of-box experience is great. And, and th th that is a company that I would see this year you know, really having a, a significant growth. Their price points are great. The setup is great. Uh, and and they, they've just done a really nice job. Yeah, definitely. Like I said, I can, you know, certainly, certainly speak to that. We had that review in, uh, in CE Pro mm -hmm. and, you know, definitely uh, uh, a great way to go. So in terms of, obviously this is very simple for consumers to use. In terms of, uh, in terms of our readership, uh, the pro market, why is this a really good time to be installing a uh, wireless home theater? You know, I know back in the day, a lot of them, you know, were very skeptical about wireless audio. Clearly it's, it's made some strides. So now in terms of having a lot of different products and brands to deal with, uh, why does this help the pro market out? Yeah, and I think that their their skepticism initially was was valid. You know, I think some of the early wireless techs and even stuff some stuff today that's still used um, does have some limitations. And if you're really serious about what you're trying to provide for your customer, you need it to have certain criteria. Um, you know, you need it to be high definition. You need it to be at least CD quality or better, which is kind of the you know the the benchmark, I guess. At least it has been. Um, you need it to be. Uh, uh, multi-channel, you need it to be uh, uh, low latency, you're putting it around a video screen, you know, you can't have delay and you need everything to be synchronized. And I think until, you know, the, the WISA uh, solutions came out, that was, that was hard to find. Um, I, I, I see now, you know, when you see it going into, you know, $40,000 B&O speakers, um, all the way down to, you know, 799 uh, full 5.1 solutions, I think that, you know, it's, it's, it's been in the field long enough. It's justified and it works. Um, so there's a there's the reliability you know factor can be checked off. And I know that guys don't want to necessarily have to make lots of trips out to the same address, you know. And there there are brands that that have have done a really good job because they're very reliable, and I can install it and forget it. Um, and if there is an issue, it's a phone call and it's thirty seconds. And oh yeah, push this button. I think that's very helpful. Um, and I think that uh, you know there are a couple different kind of use cases uh, for for your readership. And I think you know one of them is the fact that it's so easy to demo the product in the home because the setup is so fast. You know you can go to the home, and even in this circumstance that we're in now, you know while everybody's keeping their distance and everything, maybe they don't want to venture out to a showroom. But if you can go in ten minutes and you've got a demo, you could leave. You know have them listen to it for a while. Um, and they're listening to it in their own space. And I think that's important. Um, and I, th and I think the expertise of being able to make sure everything's set up properly, going through the tuning, dialing it in for somebody, taking that extra step that 
you know, a, D, a DYI person may not want to do or need to do, but you can do with the knowledge. Um, I think that's important. And I think there's another opportunity where it's, it's so quick and easy to put together a system. And, and I've thought this for a while for, for specifically your space is, you know, while if you're doing a huge install in one room, the, the add on sale to say, well, I know this person's interested in multi-channel great audio. Let me, you know, I could put one of these in your bedroom or in your den while the other guy's packing the truck. I mean, literally, you know, adding a second system in, in a matter of minutes is, is pretty cool to be able to do. Um, I think that there's a huge opportunity right now with so much content coming into the home and so much uh, uh, production value in that content that the time is right and people want to build a better nest and spend more time at home that, you know, the, the proliferation of these simplified to set up, but great performing systems um, is just on the, on the cusp of explosion. Yeah. And it certainly sounds like there's a nice range of price points that they can, so they can cater to some customers who really want, you know, a higher end solution, but still have it done as, you know, maybe one of those attachment rooms. And then others, you know, if they're looking at, uh, you know, just a nice, easy solution to pop in there and not absolutely. really kind of break the bank. Yeah, absolutely. We, the full gamut is there and it's really, the technology breaks down to a very interoperable wire replacement. And that's really what I think has been the, the issue with other wireless techs is there were, there were setbacks here and there. This is really an ability to get lots of signal from point A to points B through whatever, you know, and, and, and know that it's going to be reliable, it's going to be robust. Uh, and then all those speakers are powered with their own, with their own processing and their own capabilities. And it, it, just, it just makes for a great system. Tony, does, does WISA or the actual manufacturers who are members of the association themselves um, put together any sort of collaborative marketing efforts with uh, integra the integrator channel or any sort of literature, demo, you know, demo videos, things like that, that they are able to have at their disposal? Yes, yeah, some are doing uh, kind of some stuff on their own and have been. Um, uh, Savant is a great example. Um, their, their, uh, their smart speaker line, the soundbar, um, this, and the surrounds and the subwoofer, and they've done some great work there. Uh, a lot of our other members have done kind of discrete trainings with their products, LG and Klipsch and, and, and Enclave and others. Um, but the most significant thing now <clears throat> that we're able to finally kind of help with is on the, on the marketing to the consumer side. Uh, and Weiser recently announced, um, a, a, a platform uh, called the Weiss Wave. And <clears throat> we have seen, it goes back to basically the interest coming from the consumers. Um, on our website, weissassociation.org, which I know doesn't roll right off the tongue, um, but it is our website. Um, we've, in, from Q2 to Q3, we've seen an, an increase of about 112% of visitors. Um, and we are seeing a, a tremendous amount of those visitors, about 35%, which is a, a, a heck of a chunk, um, go from our site to either a, a buy now button or uh, to uh, a member site to learn more. And what that signifies to us is a growing interest and a growing understanding and awareness of the category at large. So now what we're doing to your, to your, pre, to your question is uh, we're, we're leveraging that interest now that we see it and we know it, we can capture it to help our members um, market their new solutions. Because if you think about a, a company, you know, let's say Klipsch as an example, uh, they make wireless home theater products. They also make headphones, they make sound bars, they make heritage products, they make passive products. So for, for them to be able to say, okay, I know where I can go and focus on people that are interested in this one category and help us grow that one business, that's important. Um, and so we can do that with individual brands. We can do that with groups of brands. Um, we're, we're doing a program right now where there are, are three different solutions on one landing page. And what it does is it helps someone learn, okay, I, I like this product, I'm telling Adam, I'm gonna go look at it. Um, oh my gosh, look at all these other things. You know, Maybe brand X ends up selling a product for, for brand Z, but brand Z ends up selling two products for brand X. It's, it's a way for us to take the collective interest, work with all of our members and help build the category for everyone. And if that makes, if that makes us the hub, that's almost better because it's a way for us you know, to, to collect all that information and find all those people that are interested. And then they tell eight friends and they tell eight friends and so on and so on as the commercial you know, went. And, and, and we're seeing a lot of growth in that, in that, with that methodology. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. And that's really, uh, that's fantastic to hear about the website because definitely that consumer awareness is, 
is huge. Uh, in terms of the dealers who's, you know, who have showrooms that are open right now, um, and in parts of the country where people can go and visit them, uh, does WISA help them set up certain demo rooms and 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 messaging within those uh, within those showrooms that will say, you know, this is this is WISA cert certified, uh, as opposed to you know some maybe another range of of demo room that they might have in their showroom. We, we are on the cusp of that type of thing. Um, we just brought in, uh, we just brought on online uh, a, a very um, highly recommended uh, and, and established um, marketing and, and advertising agency that we're working with on that kind of branding. Because again, you know, until recently, we've been implementing, you know, we've been working with guys to get stuff, you know, kind of uh, uh, built and designed and, and into the field. And now the exciting thing is we get to do stuff like that. Um, so as we see, um, you know, growth, and, and I think that SoundSend will, will be a big part of that growth because now you can really say, okay, not just these, you know, couple of models, but everything on this wall works, you know. Um, we're looking forward to some opportunities like that. Uh, we would be happy to. We've got the right, um, the right people and the right uh, uh, facilities in place, uh, and, and we look forward to those kind of opportunities. We've had um, some of our brands do it kind of discreetly uh, and have really good displays um, in uh, uh, various retailers. Um, Enclave had a, a great demo that, that was distributed uh, pretty significantly and, and, and uh, uh, successfully. Um, there's a, a combination of LG, Axum and Klipsch demo uh, in a lot of Magnolia home theaters. Uh, and so we've, we've stuck our toe into that and with, with helping those guys. Um, but really for us to significantly uh, impact and to, and to take on, you know, some of that, we'll work with some retailers and get that done, but we look forward to it. And some of the speakers and solutions that are being designed right now, I think will help with that a lot because you'll see even more well-known brands coming out with solutions that, that are brands that are already in retail that we can go in now and say, look, you already, you're already carrying these three. Let us help you build out a little section here and explain this. Um, we've worked with Best Buy and we've worked with some other uh, large organizations on training materials. And now it's kind of bringing all that together. So it's a great question. And I think you'll start to see more and more of that in 2021. Sure. And then actually uh, that, Tony, that's perfectly segues into just the kind of final thing that I wanted to ask you was about <laughs> that roadmap heading into 2021 and what the association is focused on. If there were, you know, those, uh, you know, few bullet points that you can, that you could share um, you know, whether it's product, whether it's education, training, things like that. Yeah. Well, I mean, you just kind of gave the outline. That's what it is at this point. I mean, it's, it's leveraging all of the great products that are now available as well as some of the stuff coming out, um, that's going to kind of, you know, solidify the category, um, and, and reaching, working with those members to reach directly out to the interested end users and expanding that. Cause you know, right now I think there's a, there's a large amount of, um, people don't know what they don't know. And you know what I mean? When they think about, well, I, I should probably do something cool for some sound around my TV, if they think about that, they they need to know that these opportunities exist and the benefits of them. And that's our role now, uh, where that's shifted a little bit from, like I said earlier, trying to you know say, okay, this is the validation of the tech and the integration of the tech. Now it's the distribution of the tech. Um, so I think that's that's a big role for us. Uh, and I think it's, it's perfect timing because there's, there's so much opportunity with people um, staying home, with people seeing so much great content coming in. And, you know, everybody, everybody has a huge TV now. I mean, or, or multiple TV. You know, it's, it's a great opportunity for us, I think, to tell that story. And that's our big push right now around all of our great members, around SoundSend, um, around these great new speaker products that are coming out. And, and you'll see more and more announcements, like I say, over the next quarter or two. Um, but that's it. It's, it's awareness and it's an education of the simplicity of the approach and the benefits of having that kind of audio system in your home. All right. Well, it's definitely an exciting time for the category, and we certainly look forward to hearing those announcements. And Tony Ostrom, thank you so much for, uh, for sharing your time with us. I really appreciate it. And thank you so much. Thank you.